Hello everyone, this mouse here is my daily driver. It's a Logitech G700S. It is a pretty old mouse, but it's just perfect for all of my needs. It is rechargeable and it works wired and wireless. It has a lot of shortcut buttons and one of my favorite features is this infinite scrolling wheel, which is patented by Logitech. With this, you can scroll through long pages with just one swipe. It also has a 2.4 GHz dongle. And you can click the scrolling wheel to the side. This is very useful to scrolling pages horizontally. But I wanted another mouse to use with my laptop when I'm outside. So I found this. This mouse has almost the same features of the Logitech one. Well, it doesn't have the infinite scrolling functionality, but the wheel is clickable to the sides. It has two shortcuts on the side, a third one close to the left button, and a secondary side scrolling wheel. You can change the DPI speed and it will reflect which setting you have on the LED. There is also an RGB LED under with different settings. So let's check it out. I got this mouse on AliExpress. All the links are in the description of this video. There's two options, a wired for $25 and this one, which is the wireless version for 47. Each version has a different software for programming the mouse. So pay attention to which software you're going to download on the description. This mouse comes with additional rubberized grips. Here's how it looks if you decide to apply them. And with the wireless version, you'll get a braided USB Type-C cable. Under the mouse, you have a switch for changing the modes, a button for the LED colors, and a slot for the 2.4 GHz dongle. The dongle snaps right in, and it's pretty safe there, it won't fall off easily. Logitech has a pretty robust software, with a lot of customization options. This mouse also comes with a software, and it might seem scary at first, Windows even gave me a warning, but I checked it on VirusTotal website and it's pretty safe. In the software, you can configure all of the buttons with many different options. And you can have four profiles with different configurations. There is a lot of customization in the DPI settings too. And if you don't like the lights at all, you can turn them off. It's also possible to program and customize macros. 
Here's the different light settings that you can customize. Alternatively, you can press the LED button under the mouse. Another good point is that this mouse is much lighter than the Logitech. The Logitech mouse is pretty heavy and it took a lot of time to get used to. You can decrease the weight a little bit if you remove the batteries, but then you have to use the mouse in wired mode only. And let's talk about some problems that I found. You can see here that I configured the button 7 to work as a profile switch. But when using the mouse in Bluetooth mode, the button won't correspond to the configuration I've set. This is because the Bluetooth mode will always use the default settings. For some reason, these settings will only work with the mouse in 2.4 GHz mode or wired mode. You can even see here that the LEDs are not in the same colors that I configured. But if I flip the switch to 2.4 GHz mode, the software will recognize the mouse right away. And here, the buttons will work as I configured. Another point is that the side-scrolling wheel cannot be configured in the app. Instead, it works in a weird way. If you're on profile one, it will work as a side-scrolling wheel, just normal. But if you change to profile 2, 3 or 4, it will work as a volume slider. Another weird behavior is with the polling rates. Whenever you're using a low polling rate, the volume slider will glitch if you move it too fast. It will stop working until the mouse is reset. This will only happen if the side wheel is set to the volume slider. If you're using a high polling rate though, you won't have this issue. Moving to the teardown, it is pretty simple to disassemble. And here's the build quality inside. You have an 800 mA battery. The mechanism for the side clicks seems pretty strong and well built. The switches for all of the other buttons are from the Huano brand. I don't know if they are good. Only time will tell, and at least you can replace them by any other switch you'd like. The side buttons are not here. The buttons here will only press the switch on the main board. The side scrolling wheel though is inside this plastic part. And if you have to replace it, you can disassemble it by removing the plastic tabs here. The potentiometer for the scrolling wheel is just a regular one. Like any other mouse, it will start failing after some time. On this point, the Logitech mouse can't be beaten.
because it uses an optical mechanism. And here you can see the RGB LEDs working under the board. For my final thoughts, this is a pretty good mouse. It has some rough edges and it's not as polished as a premium mouse, but it's a great option for gaming and productivity in general. With many connection options, you have a lot of flexibility to use it, and the software is pretty robust with a lot of settings. It is also easy to disassemble and perform maintenance for a long durability. And the price is pretty reasonable. What do you think about it? Is it worth a shot or do you pass? Leave your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.